Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Binder. My name is Dave and welcome back to another Dexterity Week. Ooh, get your fingers loose for the review of Bugs in the Kitchen. Let's do it. Alright, so this is a game all about fast-paced dice rolling and trying to move these little utensils because there's a bug in the kitchen and you want to get them in your trap sometimes and sometimes you don't depending on what game you want to play and it's really just that simple the first person that to catch the, the rodent the little cockroach five times is basically the winner I've explained the whole game to you I think it is dexterity based because you're rolling this dice fast and you have to turn these little utensils and you're going to have to think a little bit uh, on your feet as well. Let me show you the production of this game, then I will uh, tell you how to play. Let's go. Alright, so this is what comes, well, this is the box and it has a whole bunch of other things in. Now, I don't remember if I put the forks and knife pieces together, but they rotate like this. Um, this cardboard fits snugly in there. And then you get your cockroach tokens that you'll give to losers and or winner, winners. You get a wooden dice and then the creme of the, creme of the crop. Crim de la creme, if I guess what you would say, the nano bug. Now, this isn't the nano bug that came with the game. For some reason, I thought I got this new, but there was a hole in the back of it and it was missing this guy, so I just bought another one, which is easy to do. I actually have two to make it really jazzy if you want to try to make this game even harder. Speaking of which, let me show you how to actually play. Let's go. All right, so the name of the game is to either pick if you're playing the winner type game or the loser type game. Either you're going to pay, play the loser, whoever gets the first five tokens of the cockroaches is the all-out loser and everybody else wins, or you'll say the winner, whoever gets the um, five tokens at first is the winner. And whenever a bug goes in your uh, little trap here, you get that cockroach token. Now let's get this bug going. Now the name of the game is to roll this dice here and it's going to show a utensil and that's the one that you can rotate. Now it's fast paced happy simultaneously because another person will have to roll the dice. If they get a question mark, they can do whatever they want. And then the next person goes and you want to keep on going because this bug is going to go all over the place. So it's a spoon now. We're going to go ahead and do a spoon and then we'll say, oh, it is a, uh, it's a fork. And then, oh man, it's a knife. Oh, there he's going. Now, as you can see, there are some planks that are blocking the way. If it's a two-player game like the one I'm playing right now, that will be the case. But sometimes the bug will get caught. You can just kind of like knock him out. But he's trying to find his way to one of these um, openings here to the trap. So he can eventually... Oh, wow, he just skated right by. Look at that. So we can eventually go, ah, finally, in there. And that is Bugs in the Kitchen. Now let's give this a great, I'm gonna give it a 75, which is just getting the Game Find Play It Award. And that's what I would say about this game. Just play it. You don't necessarily have to own it. Um, it's one of those games that is frantic and a lot of screaming is going to happen. The one thing that I think really hinders the game most is there is one dice or die. I wish there were multiple dice that everybody could keep near them, which I actually, kind of customize that on my own end so you can have in front of you when you're ready on your turn instead of having to grab this dice that is either in front of somebody else or have to roll all the way at the other side of the table it's just that is a really big problem with this game um, sometimes the bug gets caught in the utensils like I showed you uh, when I was playing that will happen um, and what other hindrance does that this is the game. Once you've played it, you know what it's about. Uh, it is entertaining. I will give it that. It's entertaining on the first go. And like I said, I do think this is a fun game. Definitely give it a play or two. I just don't think it's going to go beyond, I don't know, first month of playing. This is more of a kind of niche gimmick kind of game. Nothing I think that's going to be fantastic. But if you're a nano hex bug, aficionado this is definitely something you can get into there are other games that utilize this bug as well hopefully i can get those reviews uh too but uh for the most part this is a decent game so i think this is a game that if you see it at the game store being played hop in on that game but don't trip yourself up 
trying to buy it because it's not really worth that much. But that is what I think about this game. Thank you so much, Fine Nation, for tuning into this review. If you don't mind, click like and subscribe down in the description below. If you do want to pick up this stuff, go ahead and click that link. But until next time, that I see you. Have a great rest of your day and a great time with all you play. I'm Dave. Enjoy me in the next de de dexterity video. I'm out. Bye. Vine Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel, and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, so subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance the dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets, and we're going to be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.